In this video, we will set up the initial code that we will be working with throughout this section. For the section on layouts, I have created a new Expo project called React Native Layout. For step one, let's create a reusable box component. Within the project folder, create a new folder called components. Inside the components folder, create a new file called box.js. Now let's define the box custom component that will utilize the view and text core components along with the stylesheet API for styling. Start by importing the required components and APIs. View, text, and stylesheet from React Native. Next, default export a function called box. For the JSX, return the view component with the text component nested inside to display the text box. Next, let's add the styles to give this component the appearance of a box. So const styles is equal to stylesheet.create. We pass in an object with a key called box that has a background color of white and a padding 20 pixels. Also going to add another key text with font size 24, font weight bold, and text align center. On the view component, specify style is equal to styles.box and on the text component, style is equal to styles.text. With this, our box component is now ready. In the section, the box component will act as a flex item within a flex container. Speaking of flex container, Let's define it in app.js. For step two, let's begin by making some changes in app.js. Remove the status bar import, the text component import, and clear the contents within the view component in the JSX. As for the container styles, remove all the properties. Finally, import the box component at the top, and include it in the JSX. If we now take a look at the devices, we see our box component on an Android device, but not iPhone. And this is because the box text is hidden behind the notch. To fix this, on the container styles, add a top margin. We should now see the box text on both the devices. However, the UI doesn't look appealing and it is difficult to identify where the container is and where the box is. Let's go back to VS Code and make some changes. For step three, let's add two props to the box component. Children and style. The children prop allows the parent to control the text rendered inside the box and the style prop allows the parent component to extend the styles applied to the box component. Now, instead of rendering the text box, let's render the children prop. And on the view component, let's specify multiple styles using the array syntax. So styles.box, comma, style. I'm also going to add a white font color to the text component. Back in app.js, I'm going to add seven items within the container. Copy and paste. The text box one, box two, and so on represent the children prop, and the background color is what we pass to the style prop. These will get merged with the box styles in box.js. For the final step, I'm going to add a border to clearly identify the container at any given point. Border width, six, and border color, red. If we now go back to the devices, we can clearly see our container in red with the seven items nested inside 
with different colors. We are now ready to start learning about the different properties in Flexbox. Let's start with the Flex property in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.